Hello, beautiful people of the internet. I am coming at you from Georgia, the country, where I will be competing in the World Championships of Snowboarding. I just got in yesterday after a crazy travel journey. Started out in Los Angeles, went to Munich, then from Munich went to Belize, and then I had a private driver drive me the three hour journey here to Bakuriani. Flashback. Along the way, we took a short detour to the Javari Monastery. The website I booked my driver from allows unlimited stops along the way to your destination, so I thought it'd be a cool thing to check out. When we got there, I saw my first stray dogs of the trip. I found out that the ear tags that they all had meant they were registered to the city, up to date on shots, and fixed. They were all so cute and super friendly. You could tell that they were very comfortable around people and really knew how to get cuddles. Just like this guy who literally oh. stopped me from leaving by putting his paw on my foot, rolling over for more. All right, going up to a 1,000 year old Georgian monastery on a hill. The Javari Monastery was built between 500 and 600 AD and apparently is mostly unchanged since then. It really resembled a giant cave and was very basic in terms of decorations and structure. And it was super cold inside, as you can see. Back outside, I checked out the view which overlooks the town of Michketa, the former capital of the Kingdom of Iberia. Then we got back on the road, which got very snowy as we increased in elevation and finally made it to Bakuriani. I checked into my hotel and saw even more puppies. 39 hours of traveling and I made it to my hotel in Bakuriani. <sighs> Yesterday, I basically just checked into my room, headed down into town to pick up my accreditation for the event. All right, let's do this. <sighs> Tastes like victory. All right, got my accreditation. They didn't really give me any information, so I'm assuming that that accreditation badge is my lift ticket to go up the mountain today. Getting over jet lag is always pretty rough, so I gave myself two days before the competition actually starts so I can just get adjusted and <laughs> check out everything going on in town for World Champs, enjoy it a bit. I slept pretty good last night. I managed to keep myself up till 9.30 and then i slept soundly until 4 a.m i had some pizza at 5 30 because i realized i was not going to be going back to sleep and then watched netflix yada yada and now it's time to go snowboard all right here we go first view of the half pipe there she is i have two days until i can get out there but i'm excited to ride scared right now. All right, we're safe. Oh, wait, no, it did get me. Wow. Oh, 
Oh my god. I can't believe this happened. I just spent a hundred dollars before leaving the States to get a base grind and P-Tex. So I'd have a nice smooth base and I just destroyed my board. I was walking through town and I stumbled upon this like full on carnival going on. This is crazy. What the heck? Yo, this town is popping off. There's dogs, horses, donkeys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's lit here. Oh my God, there's another one. This is crazy. I don't know if it's always like this or if it's just for world champs. Hi. Kuralt just got to town and she is somewhere here. Oh God, I'm gonna get hit by a car. How do I cross the street here? I think she's in this restaurant, but I'm not sure. I hope she is, cause I just went on a crazy journey just trying to get a bus to get down here. It's so quiet in here. This is so awkward. I think you guys were at like a bar. <laughs> Look, it's like a sled race course. Snowmobile so race course. Cool. The village. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh yeah, you don't eat cheese. You <laughs> know. Thank you. Traditional. Oh. Where is up here, Abi? Totally different liquid. No why? Uh oh. What is it? What? It smells like fruit. You know grappa, grape distillate. Is that cha cha? No, it's a. Uh, oh my god. Well, next I will show you cha cha. <laughs> Cheers! Come on. <laughs> now 58. <laughs> We're gonna burn on fire. <laughs> Can I get this one? Yes, of course. Okay. Pay me, we meet in Baku. Thank you. I, I will answer. being followed <laughs> I guess I got a dog I have to get on the bus bye bye buddy uh, Ali says this may be five to ten minutes wind going on but you know what can you do what was your best good morning puppy so last night I slapped on the thickest layer of wax I could to try to fill in the huge scratch marks from when I hit the rocks and uh, now I'm gonna scrape it off and see if I successfully fill the holes I am two runs in practice. I am not into this pipe yet. This pipe is a very weird shape. People who normally go 15 feet out are going like. 
actually been considered pulling out of the thinking I'm not feeling so good. We have three hours to practice. I'm gonna stick to it, keep doing it, and see if it gets better. Okay, so it's 10.30 and I was already asleep because I'm competing in the morning and I was woken up by like heavy knocking on my hotel room door and then like they knocked again a second time and then I heard like two men talking in the hallway and I'm super freaked out and this lock doesn't work so I've just barricaded my door with my snowboards and um, I hope I can go to sleep but I'm like a little bit freaked out. I ended up pushing my coffee table against my door for extra protection. I definitely felt uneasy for the rest of the night. All right, competition day. We've got the start list. and it is now officially time to compete. Had a hard few days. The second day was really rough on me. I was going through a lot. I had some breakdowns on the chair and then yesterday was much better. I was feeling good about how I was riding. So I'm trying to carry that energy into today, but like I definitely don't have the tricks back that I wish I did. This is maybe like the lowest difficulty run that I've done in a competition. I think I have to give myself some slack because I've ridden half pipe like six days since the Olympics in the last like over a year. It's only been six days. So I'm gonna do the best that I can with that and just enjoy this trip. I came out here to see Georgia and experience Georgia. So I'm gonna do what I can today and then have a good trip. I had to hype myself up a little bit since no one else was there to give me the high fives. And then I yelled out the mantra that I had adopted that week that I used to give myself to do one more run even when I want to quit. And you can look up Quentin Tarantino. We love making movies if you want to learn where I took that from. So I started out with a front side air instead of my normal front side seven and then another back side air. I was really just trying to build some speed, show I had amplitude. Um, normally would have done another front five and a back five here, but just stuck to front three, cab three. Tried to get some speed back with another air and then I went in for my creme de la creme of the run, the back seven. And I was super stoked to land that because it was the first back seven I had attempted the whole trip. So I felt pretty good about the straight airs. I normally would have had at least two sevens and two fives in my run. So this was a pretty basic run of just being two threes and a seven, but it was a tough week. And then I was really stoked on this back seven. Like I said, I hadn't tried one out for the trip. With the competition over, it's time to head back to Tbilisi, but not before a quick stop at the Borjomi Natural Mineral Springs. My driver brought me here because it's a very famous spot and people come from all over to drink out of this natural mineral well that comes out. So I thought that I would give it a try because it sounded like a great opportunity. It tasted like <laughs> hot sulfur dirt. It was really rough, but my driver loved it. Apparently this water has good health benefits and he was just chugging away, putting cups down of this stuff. <laughs> so I thought I would give it one more try and I still could not handle it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you tricked me. <laughs> and it was nighttime by the time we got back into the city, but we saw this beautiful bridge and some really cool lit up buildings in the city. And then finally I made it into my Airbnb, which was a super cute brick apartment and I got settled in for the night. And that's it for this video. So stay tuned to see my adventure in Tbilisi next. Woo, walking to the bus. I got a friend. Hello. Hi. Hello baby. Are you my buddy? <laughs>